In this video, I'll be checking out the new guitar tuner in Logic Pro 10. Hi guys, you're here in the studio with Luke from GuitarIQ.com. Thanks for sitting in on this video. We're here looking at the latest release of Logic Pro and we're seeing how some of these new features might help those of us who are guitar players. So we've looked at new additions to Amp Designer and Pedal Board. We've talked about how new features like track stacks and smart controls can enhance our workflow and give us more control over our guitar tracks. And now we're going to check out the new and improved guitar tuner. So if we head over here to our channel strip, we can bring up the new guitar tuner. I say guitar tuner, obviously this can be used on other instruments too. And we can access that from the drop down menu in this metering section. Obviously a guitar tuner is not an overly exciting plugin in terms of what it does for our guitar tone, but as most of you know, the number one rule of recording guitars is if it's out of tune on the way in, then what you listen to on playback is generally gonna be out of tune as well. Um, also, if you're recording a lot of direct guitars and you don't have a dedicated plugin for tuning your guitar, this is possibly one plugin that Logic offers that you'll be using as much, if not more, than any other on your guitar tracks. And lastly, if we come over here again, we have this basic amp designer uh, set up here, but the important thing to note is that we're running our tuner first in line. If we've got effects and simulators and that sort of thing, we don't need to be feeding that information into our tuner. All that's going to do is create more information that the tuner needs to work through, which will obviously affect how well our tuner performs. So if I just play a note through this tuner now, you can see what it looks like. Straight away you can see this is a nice, easy to read, clean looking tuner. If we come over here, you can see the frequency that the tuner is set to. That can actually be changed if we don't want it set to standard for some reason. This central graphic obviously tells us what note we're trying to tune to. And as you saw then, it begins to glow green as we get pretty well close to pitch. Down here, we can mute the plugin if we don't want to listen to ourselves tune. And here we have a sense value that represents what's happening on this meter. For those of you who don't quite understand what that means, each semitone can be broken down to 100 cents. If I play that for you again, you'll notice we start at around 40 cents flat, then move to pitch. The sense value then actually wavers a bit as the note rings out. This is just a helpful, uh, more accurate way to be able to understand what's happening on the meter. I'll play that again now. Additionally, in Logic Pro 10, they've also introduced another way to access this tuner. If we come up to the control bar and right click, we can bring up this option to customize our settings here. I've already got the tuner selected and that brings up this control here. If I click on that, now we have an additional tuner. I'll play that and you'll see that this works a little differently. Now, by works a little differently, you'll notice that that didn't work at all. And the reason for that is this is connected to our input, whereas this is a plugin on our channel strip. Okay, if I shut that now and change the input to input two and bring that back up, you'll notice that's now changed to input two. So, whereas this works with playback because it is a plugin. This is going to work directly with the signal that we're inputting. So just a couple of different options there um, for tuning when we're tracking guitars. That's a look at the new tuner for the latest version of Logic Pro. Obviously, this won't completely revolutionize the way you think about recording your guitars, but it will help keep them in tune. 
As you've seen in use, this is a nice, clean, clear, simple design, very easy to read. I like being able to see the sense value represented there. There are no additional advanced features or fancy metering options here. What you see is what you get, but it is a nice and easy guitar tuner to use. That is the new and improved guitar tuner in Logic Pro 10. Well that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more content like this then please head over to the website guitariq.com. While you're there make sure you jump on our mailing list. You can also hit us up on Facebook, leave a question or comment for a further video, like the page, all of the links are in the description below. And lastly, if this video has helped you out in any way, please show some support for the channel by clicking on the like button below leaving a comment or sharing the video, and most importantly, subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.